Come on, say your money is on ground. So while I was studying on Saturday morning, one of, our, one of my daughter gave me a work to do for him. I should pray over some. So when I finished the prayer, so I forgot, I totally forgot because of the project. So Saturday morning, I said, oh, I've forgotten this person. Let me just call. As I just called her, the first thing she said is, ah, Reverend, I'm sorry. Mommy is even send me some money. I said, please send it now, 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 now. We need that money now. It was equivalent to what we needed. Can we celebrate Jesus? He's working. He's, don't be afraid of that affliction. Can I tell you, affliction is peculiar to righteous people. It's not because some of us assume that once you are in Christ, there should be no problem. Affliction is common to righteous people. He said, Many are the what? Affliction of what? The righteous. The Lord will what? Deliver him from it. He said, A righteous may fall how many times? He said, he said But the what? The Lord will lift him. Huh? He said, The affliction will not arise again. The what? And so he is peculiar to us. Worship him. Let me tell somebody, worship God. Have the heart of gratitude. Let me give us, okay, let me give us John 6. Can we have it now? John chapter 6. Let us read verse 5. Verse 5. And let me show you how to multiply now. I'm, I'm, I'm showing you now so that you understand how God responds. John chapter 6, verse 5. Alright, let's read it. Then Jesus lifted his eyes and seeing a great multitude coming towards him, he said, Philip, where shall we buy bread that these people may eat? Because they have been with Jesus for three days. So Jesus needs to feed them. Where are here people saying, but Jesus will feed them if they are with Jesus for a long time. Yeah, they can feed them. He said, but he said, where can we buy? So can we read it? But he said to what? And he himself knew what he will what? We will see what he will do. Because we learn from Jesus. All right, let's go forward. Philip answered him, 200 denarii's worth of bread is not for sufficient that every one of them may what? May have a little. So one of his disciples, Andrew Peter, said, uh, so let's read verse 9, verse 9. And there is a lad that have five, you know, belly loaf and two small fishes. But what, please, please put it back, put it down, put it back. I want to see reaction of us when we have little, when we are getting little. Look at it. He said, but what are what? among so many what is this five loaf of bread among so many i am telling you that that little opportunity god created for you you may be looking at it is so little but i can tell you if you understand gratitude and thanksgiving god will multiply it let's see what he has done verse 10 verse 10 verse 10 then jesus said, okay verse 11 verse 11 11 11 11 all right, and Jesus what? Say Jesus took the loaf. Let me tell somebody, Jesus took the loaf. And what? And when we what? He had given thanks and distributed them to what? To the disciple and the disciple to those sitting down, likewise of the fish. And a what? As much as they wanted. If you read it further, it multiplied. They had eight basket extra. The Lord will give you extra abundance. Your prayer is useless without thanksgiving. Your desire is a waste without thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is what moves God to action. I don't know what you have in your prayer list right now. If you can take it to the Lord in thanksgiving and put this to practice, you are going to see results. Let me just show us another example so that I will. Let's look at Jonah chapter 2. How many of us know Jonah? What happened to Jonah? They throw him to where? To the river, right? To the ocean. And fish did what? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what happened to Jonah. Jonah chapter 2. Let's see pray, uh, prayer of Jonah. So that you see the same thing. Then what? Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from what? From the fish belly and said what? I cry out to the Lord. I'm not hearing you. I cry out to what? 
Don't forget what he said in Isaiah. They were afflicted. He said, but sink, isn't it? He said, sink, 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 sink. Look at it. I cry out to the Lord because of what? My affliction and he answered me out of the belly of the seal. All right? And you heard my voice. Verse 3. For you have cast me into the deep. You see, he's complaining now. For you have cast me into the deep, uh, into the into the deep, into the heart of the sea, and the floor surrounded me. Your belly and your wave passed over me. Verse 4. Then I said, I'll be what? Casted out of your sight, yet I will look again. Do you know what it means to look again? That's worship. I will look again. I will look again. You will see it is very clear then. I will look again towards your what? Your holy temple. Verse 5. Verse 5. He said, the water compassed me about even to the, to the what? To the soul and the death closed me round about. The weed were wrapped about my head. Let's go to verse 7. Verse 7. Verse 7. Alright. He said, then my what? My soul fainted. Let me tell somebody I remembered. Say I remembered. Look at it. I remember the law. And my prayer went up to you into your holy temple. Verse 8. Those who regard what less I do for he has, he has switched now to worship. Those who regard what what less what I don't forsake what own mercy. Verse 9. Verse 9. Look at it. But I will what? You are, I'm not hearing you. I will what? Where, where was he making his prayer? Inside that affliction. And God moved immediately. So some of us, when they say, just thank God, just thank God, you don't understand. You don't understand. Please, don't say what you are saying. Say what you want to see. Don't say what you are saying. Once you say what you are saying, that is what the spirit realm do. That is what they will stamp for you. Say what you want to see. Don't say what you are saying. It may not look like it. Continue to say it. Thank you, Jesus. Now, can I tell us the enemies of Thanksgiving? Oh, you don't know that your voice of Thanksgiving has there are things that can make you not thank God. Let me just show us a few. Number one is murmuring. When you are murmuring and complaining, you just want to see it. Number two is complaining itself. Complain. A lot of people are complainers. Number three is nagging. Oh, assume I have money now. Nah. Assume this now. Nah. Uh, nagging. Nagging. Number four is blame trading. We were blaming. See, uh, it is very hard for you to see anybody who is in a certain situation, affliction, that we take, that we own the problem. They will try and look for something. They will, either they don't blame the president, they will blame the nation, they will blame their parents, they will blame the city they are, they will blame, they will just look for somebody to tie that into. Then the last one is depression. I told us here last week, or maybe we, I said depression is a state where you are looking away from what God has done before. Then you are now putting your mind into that which is not changing. Because when you, when you always fix your mind into what God has done before, it, it will always make you to thank him. I don't know whether we are getting what I'm saying. Uh -huh. But when you look away from those things God has done, you will focus, you are, and you are focusing your mind on what you have, what you can't change, depression will set in. So it's a very dangerous season. That's why I cast the spirit out of this place in the name of Jesus. Can I have Psalm 89, verse 15, in New Living? When you are going through that state where you can you can no longer see what God is doing, Psalm 89, verse 5 is the solution. What is it? I'm not hearing you. We are not saying it, say it louder. Okay. Who hear the 
joyful call to worship. No, let's let's come and dance to God. Then you are pocky there. See, arrogant people can't praise God. I'm telling you. Proud people, never. Nothing can move them. They are too big to dance like David. Never. Never. God is looking for a, a child. You have to become a child when you are going to his presence. You have to lose yourself and fix your mind into this. Oh, thank Jesus. In front of the market, that people are looking at you that wait till you to branches. I be shout. Thank you, Jesus, like this. Huh? No. So he said they are called to worship for they will walk in the light of what? Presence. Let's look at 1 Corinthians 10 10. 1 Corinthians 10 10. Maybe we'll look at it in King James. Look at it. Read it. You are not reading, no. I'm seeing you are not reading. You want to go? Let's read. Okay. And they were destroyed by war. Destroyer. Do, do you know that it's not, it's not devil that is the destroyer? There's an angel called the destroyer. If you study your Bible very well, there was one time that God sent that angel. Right? When David slept with somebody's wife, took the wife, killed the man. So God said, okay, the punishment is sent the destroyer. In one night, Less than one hour, this guy has killed over 180,000. Ah, David went to the Lord for his sleep. Lord, give me, leave, leave these people. I am the one that sinned. Where you, Momo? Do you see that Christianity is a work? It's not, it's not just what you are seeing. No. You have, to, you have to discipline yourself into this. Let me tell you. Stop murmuring. Okay. Numbers 11.1 1. To corroborate what you just said. To support it. Read it together. Let's read it together. One to go. Now. No, let's read it now. One to go. So wait. Wait there. Don't forget what we are talking about. We are talking about God's love language, right? The moment you complain, you are pressed his anger button. Let me tell somebody, the moment you start complaining, you are pressed God's anger button. Let's see, let's see. Now, when the people complain, it what? See, whenever you see the Lord in capital, you are talking about the God, the Father himself. Huh? You are talking about him. Oh, you are complaining. You don't even have faith. Okay, I will give you what you want to see. Look at it. For the Lord what? So, there, see, even if you are, you know you can go and complain inside your bedroom. Tell somebody is there. Uh, you know it's only you. When you are walking on the road, you are you are the one encouraging somebody at home. Don't worry, God is going to do it. So when you, only you is walking, <laughs> I don't even know this kind of life. We are the gypsy. <laughs> if I say this one now, I think go affect this person. He will hear. He will hear. Look at it. He had it, and what is anger? I'm telling you, the, you are. Press the other side of him. Look at it. And his anger was arose. So the fire of the Lord. The fire. The consuming fire. So you now know why you are praying and you are getting the opposite. You are called to worship. Am I helping somebody? Let me just talk about one more. I will leave you. How many want to hear one more? I have plenty of them. Write it. Laughter. Say laughter. Can I ask you something? 
can I ask? I, I just want to ask a very simple, but honest question. Who do you think has the greatest problem in this place? Greatest problem. Because by the time you start asking people, what problem do you have? You yourself, that you say your own is greatest. You say, oh boy, you be like, say my own has stage one. No, <laughs> this is your own problem, man. Eh? Are you getting what I'm saying? But can I ask you another question? Do you think the greatest problem can, can face God? He can face God? Huh? Can, you, can the greatest problem face your God? I, I'm, I'm, say laughter. Now, if you are writing, for those who are writing, God is specialized in laughing and joyful. God is specialized in laughing and joyful. God is specialized. Can we see some too, please? God is specialized in laughing and joyful. And joyful. And joyful. And joyful. Even in that your difficult, that this difficult situation is laughing. <laughs> it's laughing. Can we look at it? Why do what? The nation rich. This is, this, what is happening here is taking place on earth. What this scripture is saying. It's not in heaven. Because you know there is no more trouble in heaven. I'm sure we know. Uh, Revelation 12. They have cast down the troublemaker. And he said, woe to the inhabitant of the earth. For the devil has come down to you. Praise the Lord. The one that deceived the whole nation. The one that made, that fooled the entire nation. Fool people take them in wrong direction now look at it why do what the nation rage and the people plot what a baiting the king of where set what themselves and the ruler take counsel because they will surely gather it's normal for them isn't it they will surely said and they take counsel against themselves against the lord and against his anointed saying let's read now let us break what do you see this they want to destroy they want to destroy, they want to kill, they want to do all manner of things. This is what they are saying in their camp. Alright? I cast away their court from us. Verse 4. Verse 4. He who what? He who sit where? He who sit in heaven shall laugh. Is that correct? Okay, let me give us an example. Let's assume maybe um, from Braubonk. And brought Chutz. They are having an appoint appointment with Buhari. Alright? Tomorrow. So when they got to Aso Rock, so they now call them to banquet. Oh. So watch me. Oh. They have serious issue. So then when they got there in that meeting, so Buhari were now sharing joke. Brachu were now frowning. Then Brahubo were now doing like this. What do you think will happen? Buari is cracking joke. I want to get something from him. Then you are now squeezing your face. Oh, which, which not say joke. <laughs> Next, even if the joke is not funny, <laughs> you go laugh too. Praise the Lord. That is the God you are serving. He likes to laugh in the midst of problems. Yeah. I'm telling you. Can I help you more? Let me help you more on this topic. Once I'm done with this, I leave this place. <laughs> okay. Let's look at. Can we look at Deuteronomy 28, verse 47 and 48? Some of us is already healed. You will no longer be afraid. You know, can you imagine how David will look at Goliath? He will just laugh. Goliath will say this one. You are laughing, Abby. What thing I could do you today? And David laughed. He said, you don't know who is behind me. Let me tell somebody you don't know who is behind me. Ah, your head will come down today. I will, I will feed your head. I will feed it. 
Look, let's let's just the scripture. This scripture is for somebody. I'm telling you, it's for somebody. He said, Because you did not serve the Lord. Don't forget, I told you when you see the Lord capital, you are talking about the one that created you. Huh? No, when you he said, because you did not serve the Lord, your God, with what? With joy and gladness of heart for the abundance of everything. Do you know what the abundance of everything means? Means that even if it's abundance of affliction, you still have to be joyful. Abundance of everything is it not included? Is it the only good thing? In good and in what? Yeah, that's the relationship you sign up with him. He said, Because you didn't do it. Let's look at verse 48 now. Look at the punishment. Therefore, huh? I prophesy to somebody. May you not serve your enemy. As many that have been serving their enemy, that business is over now. He said, whom the Lord will send against you. Can you imagine? Because you are not serving him with joy and laughter and happiness and gladness. God himself said, I will send. Ah, God, please say, Lord have mercy. In what? It's not only to serve the enemy. Look at what he said. In what again? We are not saying it. In hunger. So you will be, you, that's when you now see people, they will be walking like elephant. Then they are eating like ants. Then you see some people who are doing little, they are gaining more results. A lot of people don't even know our secret in early church. Can I tell you the secret of this building? Last year, do we have, after our service, do we always have Thanksgiving? Because you don't know. You don't know why. So we included Thanksgiving because I already understand how to press that remote button. So whether they are, I've told God, I say whether they are happy or not, I will take them to your altar. They will see that. They will shake, they will drop their offering. They will do everything. We will do it, God. Please help us. But is, is it working? It will work in your life. It will work in your business. Oh, you tried the business today. It didn't work. The little you have. You don't talk like Philip. What is this among so many? Is this this one I'll be thanking God for? Ah. Ah. He said in hunger. In task. In nakedness. In need of everything. And it will put what? Do you ah, say I reject it? So no matter your situation from today, please include joy and laughter. Can I see somebody who is smile? Are you sure? I only see three people who is smiling now. Some people are see Don't worry. I'm not the one. He has asked me to tell you what he needs to tell you. So you, we can make our choice, right? Uh, you know, some of our pastor friends told me last week, we were in a meeting with a senior, you know, doctor. He said, in that meeting, a round table, ah, we have started the meeting. And they, they, I said, ah, oh, Reverend Bakari is there, the only man who is building in recession. Do you know I thought of that thing, truly? In recession. He's building in recession. And I know how my, my, my dad used to talk. Is building a recession. Ah, may you build a recession. May your business expand in recession. May you be promoted in recession. May everything that has to do with you expand. I say, may there be abundance for you. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you don't like this message. You don't like it. You don't like it. Ah, you don't like it. Finally, do you know why I'm saying you have to be joyful? Because you will contradict his word. You want to agree with God. Are you hearing me? God is happy. You are angry. He said, can two walk together? 
except they be agree. Amos 3.3. 3. You have to agree with him. Lord, what are you doing right now? Are you laughing? Okay, I laugh too. <laughs> are you laughing? Are you dancing? I will dance too. Praise the Lord. Go and visit somebody this week. We need to agree. Look at Psalm 126, verse 1 and 2. He said, when the Lord turn again. See, if you want God to turn it, because God is telling me that this month I'm turning it again. You know, I, I, let me just, maybe, maybe it's for some few of us. I don't know whether, are you included? He said, I am turning it again. Say, I'm turning it again. Let's read it. When, don't forget who we have been dealing with since. If you see God, capital G and O, D, small letter, right? He's talking about the Trinity. Alright? But when you see L-O-R-O-D, he's talking about God the Father. The Obunga himself. He's talking about him. Now he said, when the Lord brought back the what? The captivity of what? Of Zion. We were like what? Udrim. Then what? Captivity. Captivity is what they said though. When the Lord brought by the affliction. In the affliction. Are you getting me now? He's taking you back from your, your Egypt. He's placing you into your promised land. Whenever you embark on this journey. He said then our mouth will fill with laughter. And our tongue will sing. Watch you, watch you. It has not finished. Then they say among what? The heathens, that is your enemy, the unbelievers. They were now seen among themselves. The Lord has what? Is that somebody's portion? I prophesy to somebody. In this month, may God bring back your captivity. Amen. And the May God do a great thing for you. Amen. As you celebrate God. As you are dancing to God, Amen. as you are appreciating God, I see God winning your battle for you. Amen. I come and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Chief. I want us to rise to our feet. Just ask for mercy. 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 He has not sent Jesus to this earth to condemn us. He has called, he has sent him to this earth in order to change our story. Go ahead and talk to him. Lord, give me the grace to always worship you. Give me the grace to always remain grateful to you. Give me the grace to always dance to you in the midst of my troubles. Father, let me sing. Give me a song. Give me a new song. Give me a new song. In this month, turn my captivity around. Change my story. Send me help us. Lord, go ahead. Lord, help me right now. I submit myself. I humble myself. Go ahead and talk to God. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Open your heart to him. It's not a man. I look at faces. He looks at the heart. Talk to God right now. Talk to him. Talk to him. To him. Talk to him. Talk to him. This secret you have learned today, you will not miss it again. Enemy will not attack you. You will not murmur. Say, I will not murmur. I will not complain. No matter what comes around, God is talking things around. Go ahead and talk to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Can we lift up our right hand? Lord, I pray for as many of your sons and daughters that believe God through me. Now, is there any one of them who have sinned against you? Who the enemy have taken away from your presence? Father, because they agree with me this morning, Father, forgive their sins. Father, I pray you write their name in the book of life. Father, put their name in the book of life. Amen. Remove their name from book of destruction. Amen. 
Father, I pray, even as we walk on our minds, even as we stick to your word, even as the word of God comes out of our mouth, Father, we pray, O oh Lord Almighty, let these people walk in abundance. I say, let them walk in abundance. Let them walk in abundance. In the name of Jesus. I therefore, I dare please stretch your hand towards this communion. In the name of God the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, Father, sanctify it. Let there be healing. Let there be answer to prayers. Father, as we take this, Father, renew our mind. Position us to where our helper will see us. Thank you, our Father. We sanctify the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You are going to sing this song. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous God. He has no marvelous thing. Yes, we do with joy. Don't mind the God. of me. Father, the blessing that comes with communion. Father, I pray by your mercy let everyone in this hall today, let them go home with that blessing. Let everyone that are confused, depressed, perplexed, tempted to despair, Father, return them back to your place of joy. That which we have lost to the kingdom of darkness. Father, you say you will restore all the things that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar. You say you will, you, will, you will send a great army among us and we shall eat in plenty. I pray for your sons and your daughters. Father, this month, let it be a living testimony in their life. Amen. I pray that every Everyone will go home with their miracle signs and wonders. Amen. And by this time next week, we will have cause to glorify your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. Are we ready to thank God? Are we ready to dance? Are we ready to dance? Uh, you know, it may not be everybody. Mm. He said, uh, the word of God said, he that have 